You tell us. Um, how am I doing? I don't know. What are you thinking right now? This is the last time we're, we're going to do this here. La, yeah, last time we're going to do this here, and last time we were going to be wearing red, so that's kind of funny. That's what I was thinking. Target red. Yep. What's your sponsor over there in IndyCar next year? I uh, can't tell you. Great. <laughs> here, I thought we were going to break some news today. Yeah, exactly. You would love it. You've, uh, you've done a lot in this sport. You've brought a lot of fans to this sport that are standing right here. What are your thoughts? Everybody giving themselves a shout out this morning. I like that. What are your thoughts? You're leaving. I mean, you, you, you brought a lot to NASCAR. You've done a lot in this sport. And now today's your final race and you're turning the page to another chapter. I mean, what, is this bittersweet for you? Uh, it's a little bit of bittersweet because, you know, we didn't run better. I mean, I knew coming to run with Ganassi here was going to be a challenge, and, you know, the plan was to get the team a lot better, and we, at the start we did, you know, we made the chase, fought it for the championship and everything, and then, you know, changes kept happening and everything, so we just made it tough. And to be honest with you, when you get the chance to run for Roger, especially in Indy us, you can say no to that. Well, I was going to ask you about that. That's, uh, that, it's hard to turn something like that down, isn't it, when Roger Pesky comes calling? Yeah, when, you know, when you talk to Roger and says, I would love to have you on my team, it's like, what a waste time, <laughs> you know? When did this thing change? When did, when did you know that I'm done here, it's time to go somewhere else? Well, if I had an opportunity, I spent, you know, I put a lot of time and effort into NASCAR, and if I had an opportunity to be in a winning car, I would have said. But to run the way we run, you know, that some weeks you can run good, but some weeks you can suck. I'm done sucking. <laughs> well, it wasn't like you were asked. It was like, you'll be in Daytona, here's when you need to be here. No, honestly, they, they never said, oh, do you want to run Daytona? I'll show you this. They, an email comes about this time of the year and says, we'll be running the cars and we need you there on the 4th of January. Like, we got the going on, you know? That was great. Like, my next race, March. March? <laughs> You know, when when you do NASCAR, especially the, the way I've done with, with you know with the target car, it's been hard because I mean, you, I went to the road courses and when the road courses the car sucked, we still you know you still could fight for a win with a pretty average car. But in the ovals, you need you know a decent car, and uh, it's like you go every weekend and you never think, oh, I'm gonna win this weekend. You know, if we do it right, we're gonna win it. You don't, you lose that feeling here, right? and if, you should talk to Marco about it. Marco feels the same way I do, and it sucks. Because we won at everything we've done. And to come here and, and, you know, yeah, you can get top five, get a couple wins, but that's it. I thought you would have been a cup champion by now. Me too. <laughs> I really did. Way back in that day when you were introduced yeah. us to Kansas, or I'm sorry, Chicagoland. Oh, yeah. Thought that within... By now, you have at least and you look at the one way, of those babies right there. Yeah, and if you think about it, the way we started running, it looked like if we could get a kid team together, we would. I mean, you know, we, after three years it'll take to make the chase, we made the chase. I mean, we came into Hunter 30 points. It's like, what else you need, you know? We were there, and then, uh, you know, we started changing crew tubes and changing engineers and changing and changing and changing and changing. <laughs> what was that thing? <laughs> what do you think about racing the road course race there at the beginning of the month of May and then the 500 at the end? What do you think about that road course race they're doing? No, we're going to spend a lot of time in Indy. But so it's true, there's more to do with Indy than in Daytona, so I'm happy about that. Fair enough. That's the truth. I mean, I mean if, if, you, if, you, if you ever get to Daytona, there's not much to do there. There is really not much to do there. Um, if you go to Indy there, it's a little more. I'm not, not a huge fan of Indy there, but that's a city, you know what I mean? It's a small city for, you know, I live in Miami, so. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I got a question, why do they call it happy hour? Is happy hour made for two people? Everybody else you should call it unhappy hour. <laughs> I think it's because of those unhappy people, they just need to, no. <laughs> Honestly, it's I'm gonna do this in English. It's it's really hard with like with practice and things. We did probably in half the hour about six changes and everything you change it's like we finished half the hour, we looked at each other with the crew chip and we go, Well at least we know what not to do. <laughs> 
over the two practices, we did not find one thing that made it hard better. That really sucks. Well, what also sucks is that it's your final race in NASCAR. On behalf of the folks that could not be in this room today, and on behalf of all that are here, we thank you, my friend. And I'll see you in some days.